A state of emergency has been declared in the Italian island of Ischia after a huge landslide there on Saturday morning. Seven people have died, five others are still missing. Some residents say they've been digging mud from their shops and houses without official help because the rescue operation has been overwhelmed. Our correspondent Mark Lowen travelled to the island and sent this report. Rescuing the fragments of once tranquil Ischia, divers picked out what they could after the mudslide that cascaded through this island, tossing what lay in its path into the ocean or into each other. Some cars battered beyond recognition as torrents of mud poured down here. They scoured the seas for wreckage and bodies. With the number of deaths growing and reports of islanders still missing, the fear is that as more areas are reached, other victims will be found. It began before dawn on Saturday after torrential rain, the deepest and most sudden on record here, unleashing the chaos that tore down the hills. From above, the destruction was clear with houses buried, many of them illegally built and buckling from the onslaught. What lay in its wake swept into the sea. Well, this just shows the weakness of man against nature. While a crane and a whole team are needed to lift just one vehicle, the mudslide hurled so many of them with its force. When the torrent of debris and earth came hurtling down here, little could withstand it. Up the hill, the desolation deepens, a whole square under mud, desperate attempts to save what they can. We found Rafaela devastated by the destruction of her shop that rents motorbikes to tourists. My son has shut himself indoors because he doesn't want to see any of this. He feels ill because he's seeing all of our sacrifices were worthless. I hope someone will help us. I'm speechless. With rescue teams inundated, her husband and elderly father have had to step in to help clear the mud. I feel destroyed for my daughter, of course. We'll try and see if someone will help because we've worked all our lives to build this and all of a sudden it disappeared. Supplies have been brought for dozens evacuated from their homes, put up in hotels, guests on their own island. Larissa from Ukraine has lived here for 20 years. I came out shouting to my husband that our neighbours had lost their daughter and her baby. I was back in Ukraine during the war. Then I came here and our houses are destroyed and people are missing. How could this happen? Then a mass to bring solace to those seeking answers in tragedy. Their minds turned to the moment the earth broke away and engulfed their lives, an island overwhelmed by itself. Mark Lowen, BBC News, Ischia.